Hey, what's going on? Figured, um, since I'm stuck in traffic, again, might as well, uh, start this recording. <clears throat> and lucky for some people, I don't have any water. And I could use some. I hate when I run out of water. In case you haven't figured that out by now. <clears throat> but as I was driving... I was just thinking about uh, this female I was talking to, black female, and how I was telling her, you know, black people were being oppressed by the white man. And then she was one of those, well, I mean, if you feel that way types, uh, but, you know, it's about what you do uh, with life and how you make things happen, you know? Uh, nobody can hold you down all that kind of bullshit and I said well if you feel happy in the position that you're, work, you're in yeah, this traffic is fucking crazy that was Thanksgiving time but god damn fuck I hate when, it, when it's like this when there's no fucking alternatives man. the, the <laughs> I mean, even if you get get an alternative, the traffic is heavy. Crazy. Anyway, I said, if you feel like you're happy, you know, working at a store owned by East Indian (laughs) immigrant on top of that, then, you know, what can I say about that? But it goes to show that you must be more of a, a severe victim uh then you know. And that's the sad part. And unfortunately, we run into a lot of black people like this. For all I know, she could have been Caribbean. Uh, then again, no, she, she would have agreed. Uh, <laughs> but um, then it got me to thinking. White supremacy, white supremacy. Who talks about that most of the time? And who's supposed to be the one fighting it and supposed to be the champions of it? And then I realized, you know who the fuck it is? And the only people that it seems to be? Ghetto, hood rat, scholars that didn't even graduate high school. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about when they go on YouTube, but they think they do. They've been trained by the white man as much as possible. But he has his limits and what he can do with them. Then you have people who are supposed doctors, supposed PhDs. And then like you, like I always say, you got people who are actual PhDs. And talk the same talk, but they put it in a, put a more intellectual spin on it. While the ghetto hood rat ones, uh, you know, they do it that way. Ghetto hood rat way. Niggas this, niggas that, and, you know, they talk a bunch of gibberish, but make you think that, uh, they got it together. No matter where the fuck you go, traffic, traffic, traffic. That's why if you're going for Thanksgiving far away, man, you might as well start riding right now, shit. And don't even try going on uh, Thursday or if you gotta go far away shit almost don't even go Wednesday but um yeah I kept thinking ghetto hood rat people the side netters of the world the ox of the world uh yeah and I'm gonna say it too the uh uh, uh, Taharka Bays of the world, uh, and his critics, and their critics, all these people. And then I, then it occurred to me, and this was, this hit me right before I started doing this. I said, if these are the people fighting white supremacy, weeded up all day, drinking, ex cons, all that kind of shit, and we know they're not doing nothing. That means nobody is really fighting shit. <laughs> and we damn sure ain't gonna win. Shit. Because all the sophisticated black people are Masons. 
And we know what side they're on, no matter what they tell us. Because the only reason why you want to be a Mason is to, you know, get on. Unless somebody, you know, has a legacy of that. But, um... These ghetto hood rats who think that they're intellectual. I don't know where they learn to read from, but they learned a little something. They can't comprehend too much, but they do the brother polite uh, scheme of giving you information overload. And using a few big words here and there, quoting a, a scholar here and there, quoting a book here and there, making you think that uh, they know what they're talking about. Now, to other ghetto hood rats who get on YouTube and say oh man I, this is interesting what these guys are talking about and they sound hood they're criminals like me so maybe I can get with that now I don't mind an intellectual debate but and people getting with that, that that's cool but when people start going too far acting like they know what the hell they're talking about that's a goddamn problem. Oh, boy. I mean, people don't know how to drive. Uh, man, these people act so fucking crazy. Matter of fact, just yesterday, anybody familiar with uh, West Chester, Westchester Avenue? I mean, going to 287 West. Merging on the shit. And, um... There's a FedEx truck in front of me, driving slow. Looked like he's trying to about to merge on. These motherfuckers, man, they don't pay attention when they drive. These are the rich people. Then there was a lady to the right of me. The merge was left in some type of vehicle, tenant, heavily tenant windows. Something kept telling me, I think this lady. She was drive keeping pace with me, and I was only driving slower because the fe fucking FedEx was driving slower, even though nobody was in front of him. I hate when people do that shit because then it makes other people think, oh, this shit is open. But I had a feeling that this lady was going to do it, but I said to myself, I didn't really think she was going to do it, but I had a feeling she was going to do it. As the merge happened, now my car is a darker blue. But it's still no excuse no matter what color your car is. She should have been paying attention. That's why you don't have heavily tinted windows if you can't see or if you're high. So anyway, she start merging into my car. And shit, I'm merging into, I'm already in the merge lane. So I'm blowing the horn. I'm like, oh shit, here we go. Road was running out. And luckily she at least heard the horn. I mean, when I say close, I'm talking inches. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. You know, I called her every name in the book. I could see through because the sun was shining through. The tents, I could see she was a Mexican. And she's just looking like, what's the problem? I said, you know, call every name possible. She said, I hate these fucking dimwits, man. I'm like, where are the police when you need them? So... That, you know, I escaped that one. Then you got other dimwits on here. They don't know when to get in, when to get out, when to stop, when to go, all types of shit. Damn, I hate when this fucking traffic is just backed up like this. That's why I just stay in the fucking house, man. When the shit gets like this. Oh, yeah, speaking of the house, that TV, man, that shit is, is fucking beautiful. Got rid of the old one. It's hard to get rid of 65 inch TVs, man. These days. But, gotta take a, a big loss on the, uh, on the other one. But that's fine, though. I, I like what I got. But anyway. These ghetto scholar hood rats. We know that they don't mean what they say and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about and the reason why we know this shit is because they don't want to 
invite anybody else who's smarter than them to come in and debate. Because they know people like me, we know when they're lying. See, they don't like dealing with people who have a wide range of knowledge. See, they try to give you the information overload so you can just say, oh, shit. Damn, I don't know nothing about this. And they hope that you don't know nothing about that. And then when you find they find out that you know what it's all about and you call the shit out like that, they're like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, we can't pull one over on this guy. So that's why they don't let you, let me and other people like me, Tyron, other people like me, debate. Because they already know what the fuck is going to go down. So. Get a wild one coming up. So. Hope this guy don't try to slip through. Like an idiot. Gotta watch it on. You know people get crazy. Trying to get home. Drive crazy in the motherfucking morning too. I mean, it's like they they're ready to risk their lives now. Even if you're gonna lose your job in the morning <laughs> because you're not making it, I guess you gotta do like uh, people used to tell me when I used to uh, be five minutes late for work at times. Leave earlier. They would say that shit even when there's a motherfucking blizzard outside. Should have left earlier. I used to say, man, what kind of shit is that? Are you from California? You know the shit is a motherfucking blizzard. You talking about leave earlier. Even if I left two hours early, ain't no guarantee I'm getting here on time. But, um... Yeah, so that's where I come uh, after thinking about shit. Another idiot right here. These fucking Coopers. Come on, motherfucker. You either come through or... Come on, man. Get through. I mean, damn, if a motherfucker's letting you go through, why are you just, just going to stay in there? But that's what breaks the traffic uh, flow sometimes, you know? Letting motherfuckers go, and they're at a stop sign. You don't have to let them go. You got room to get the fuck on. But that's what happens anyway. These hood rat so-called scholars... Now this Mini Cooper, I mean, I'm really hating these Mini Cooper uh, drivers. And those cars don't seem to go too fast any goddamn way. But white people love these shits. I would love to see if I could, and this is the SUV one. Looks like it was made for midgets, but I'd like to see if I could fit in that shit. Because it might be an optical illusion on that, on that car. You know, you might think it's tiny as shit, and then the shit might be big on the inside. But um, these ghetto hood rat scholars, in addition to pulling a flim flam over on you so they can have endless content to talk about, you know, they're trying to brainwash you. Like I said before, the latest uh, trend or mission is that North Africans are not African, not black. And all this kind of bullshit. Told you the Chief X already blocked me and these other Negroes because they already know when I come through, I come through with the evidence. I don't play games. I don't try to uh, bullshit and stretch out topics and arguments and debates and shit for uh, hours and hours and days and days. I like to get to the goddamn point and shut the bullshit down with the quickness. Now you hear what the so-called scholars are talking about. Now they're saying that the Sahara used to be green but I think the white man said that see these Coopers can't keep up man I don't know I look some of them up man they got about 236 horsepower that should be more than enough to push one of these little little things and shit they, they, they pour on acceleration and hill climbing unless the, the driver is just scared but they said the Sahara used to be green the white man said or guessed and the white man also said I said it in my last video tries to make you believe that um, Africans can only survive in a 
I'll just say it, jungle environment. But somehow the white man who was designed for the snow can survive in a hot ass desert. This motherfucker is scared of straight. See, these people don't understand. When it's raining, and then you're not sure if you can see the lines, but it's still, you know, it's starting to get dark. You might want to move faster to your destination because then when it really gets dark, all the way dark, you're going to have a harder time seeing. So, I mean, damn. But I ain't going to lie, though. I do miss my fog lights because I had that on my last car. I mean, I ain't gonna say they were highly effective in the fog, but you know, they they did did what they did. I mainly use them for when it's really dark. Put those shits on so you can see the line, like when it's raining. Put the shits on, you can see the lines on the road, or um, you know, just see better in the dark without having to put on the high beams. Because to me, that's better. That's, that's better than high beams. But um, this car has better headlights anyway, so. Fog lights almost don't matter. But, um, so the Sahara being, uh, oh, yeah, I gotta keep this shit off. So the Sahara having been, uh, green, I hate when they start this shit up. Hi, god damn, this let me keep it as it was the last time anyway. Uh the Sahara being green means nothing. Because these Negroes, what they're really saying is they're supporting white supremacy because the white man says that black people were never nothing, can't be nothing, were not anything, and it's impossible by nature to be anything. And since you claim to be African, that includes your black ass too. <laughs> so, <laughs> no matter how you want to talk, that's you you're talking about. You're, you're a nitwit and a dimwit, according to the white man. So why even debate this shit? Just, just accept what the fuck it is. You can't adapt to environments, because that's what the white man says that separates man from animals. Some animals can adapt to environments, but not drastic changes in, in the environment. Like, you know, a lot of cats that's used to the heat, they just can't go in the Arctic and, and, and start surviving and shit. Especially when there's less food and shit. But, um, that's what they want you to uh, believe. But here's the other thing I was thinking about when these people are kicking this latest propaganda. So they don't understand people like me, we studied this type of shit years and years ago. So whatever they're talking about isn't new. That's why they hate having conversations with people like me because whatever they try to bring up, we know what the fuck is going on. I mean, there's some rare shit that I don't know. And usually, if it's some shit I don't know, it's probably some insignificant uh, shit that doesn't mean anything one way or the other as far as what black people did or did not do or who was black and who was not. But, um... Hold on a second. Uh, so... That's what they do. <clears throat> they try to come with that BS. So... Yeah, is it fucking windy now? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> so I was, I was thinking when they were talking about the Sahara used to be green so therefore you know once the vegetation moves away as if black people are some kind of wild animals or some shit like that black people move to where the forests are but of course I mentioned the Kalahari I mean you got another idiot right here see people get nervous when they when it's raining and then they can't see the uh, the lines in the road, and then the oncoming oncoming headlights they get 
get scared. I know how it is, but the fuck, and then motherfuckers don't see stop signs and shit. Yeah, some people something else. These white people. Then uh, they slam into you. It's your fault. But um, now I know that lady from yesterday. That she was dropping one of those uh, hood mobiles. I don't even know what the fuck kind of car it was, but it was a Honda Civic class. It looked like it was from 2000. So I know if she would have hit me, she would have taken fuck off. I already know that. <laughs> That's why I try to avoid the shit. Main reason I try to avoid accidents is not not because of the money. Sometimes you know you can it, it'll it can be to your benefit, but matter of fact, it probably would have been. But she she would have taken off for sure though. Mexican Mexican and shit driving that kind of vehicle. But I try to avoid accidents because of the the paint matching. Motherfuckers always get that shit wrong. So I don't even like dealing with that shit. But um, so anyway, let me get back to what I was saying. The Sahara. You realize if the Sahara had been a jungle is what they are really trying to assert. And including that includes their master, the white man. See, I make it plain, the white man. We can go into specifics and talk about small hats, but in this case, I'm talking the white man, because that's their master. But um, think about a forest or even a jungle. Let's say the trees, I can't think of any region on earth where people cut down every fucking tree and there were no trees left. That wouldn't create a desert, especially with sand dunes. It's another one of those motherfucking Coopers trying to do some shit there. I can't stand those cars now. <laughs> Cause it seems like everybody who drives them, maybe you gotta drive them in a different way. I don't know, but it seems like everybody who drives them, they, they they fucking around. Shit. But anyway, in order to get a desert, sand dunes, what do you need? Let's see, this is how you shut this bullshit down. You need rock formations. Have you ever seen a desert without rocks or sand? Because that's how you get a desert. Of course, what you know, and desert doesn't mean total lack of water either, by the way. It just doesn't rain often enough to uh, sustain plant life or most plant life. Motherfuckers are still going slow. I mean, motherfucker, I mean, damn. Now that the traffic is eased up, motherfuckers want to go 10 miles an hour. I mean, damn. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Uh, before I get back to that, it just popped into my mind because last night I was just checking out my, my collection of movies. checked out, uh, I didn't watch them, but you know, just skimming through them just to see what they look like. Logan's Run, old movie, low budget, good story. I'm glad they never remade that shit like they claimed they wanted to, but at the same time, it probably would have been alright uh, with today's technology. It was definitely low budget back then. Looked pretty good, even though that was always a rough looking movie. Then I popped in Omega Man, that looked very good. Remember when I first saw that shit on TV? I said, man, what the fuck is this? 
I said, damn, I said, I said the 70s had some movies for your ass. Good stories and shit. I didn't know it came from a book, though. See, these motherfuckers go excruciatingly slow. See, me, I kind of drive. I don't speed like crazy, but I, I kind of move kind of fast because I can better calculate shit and process the information going faster while going slow. I get bored. I mean, damn. Probably a Mexican. I don't know who the fuck it is, but. And I was also watching a movie. I downloaded called The Chase from 1966. Robert Redford, Marlon Brando. I didn't even know that they even made a movie together. Uh, please don't go. Please turn, sir. Like a construction worker. You know they get high after they, uh, as soon as they get off the job. Some of them get high on the job. Then the wrong one is turning. Shit. But, um, I might have to do one of those, uh, pass this motherfucker type of situations. You know what? I ain't gonna do it. See? I should. Uh, let me see how slow this motherfucker's gonna go. Ah, oh, boy. I almost should. I can't see it straight up the road real quick. But I hate when these motherfuckers start going. The speed limit is 40 miles an hour. This motherfucker's going 30. If he's got some cocaine on him, I mean, he's driving like a motherfucker that's begging for the police to pull him over. <laughs> I mean, damn. Oh, boy. Hate when they do this shit. So anyway, man, I mean, I'm trying to get through this shit. I just hate when there's one motherfucker holding everybody else up. <laughs> Damn. Got a big ass Dodge, whatever the fuck the uh, gigantic truck this is. And you're driving this shit like you're driving a motherfucking uh, 1980 uh, Lincoln or some shit like that. I mean, damn. So, uh, nineteen sixty six to chase Marlon Brando, Robert Redford. Because I was uh trying to check out Robert Red. I get into that zone sometimes. Robert Redford movies, because I'm like, I never really saw all his shit. So, I said, let me check some, some of his shit out, and then that shit came up. So, they got Marlon Brando playing some detective in some, or, or sheriff in some country town. And I guess Robert Redford and some other guy escaped from prison. It's called The Chase, but I'm like about 40 minutes into, into the shit. I haven't seen that one chase yet. I'm like, man, how are you going to call a movie The Chase and nobody's being chased? <laughs> I'm like, this shit is crazy. They're doing everything but chasing somebody. Going to parties and shit. I'm like, damn, that's motherfucker want to slow down even some more. I guess he can't see the motherfucking road. Now, I know these big-ass pickup trucks got some big-ass headlights on them. I mean, damn, are you fucking blind? <laughs> but 10 to 1, he's high. Now, I'm sure you've seen a lot of those chase uh, videos on, on YouTube. Especially in Arkansas where people are driving these big ass pickup uh, trucks brand new. They'll run from the police and damage the shit. This motherfucker is... is oh boy. If you could see what I see. <laughs> Fuck. Boy, unbelievable. I got people behind me putting the pressure on me. <laughs> I have a feeling this guy is going my way. But anyway, I didn't finish watching the movie because I kind of got bored. But Marlon Brando still looks Italian. He doesn't look like a uh, sheriff from the South. <laughs> Robert Refer still looks like a pretty boy. He doesn't look like an ex uh, escape convict. But 
looking at it through that TV, it's a downloaded movie, so it even makes those kind of look great. I was saying to myself, I, the main thing I couldn't stop looking at were those cars from the from the era, different wild colors, n wild but nice looking colors. This motherfucker got a procession of cars because this man is going so fucking slow, and I know he's gonna take my turn. Now he's, I mean, why are you stopping now? This fucking idiot. I mean, what are these people doing? Oh, I knew he was going my motherfucking way. That's usually why I hate turning on this turn signal. Because then you get idiots. Man, now you want to go now, motherfucker, when I let you ass go. Now you want to fucking cause action because you can't think. So I hate letting motherfuckers go. That's why I like to just go. I mean, what the fuck, man? And then he's going to put his high beams on, but luckily I got one of those. <laughs> I, I covered this shit up with tape so it wouldn't um, react in the dark. But then I started noticing how motherfuckers react with the shit on. I said... I'll take it. The only reason I don't like it is because if somebody doesn't have their motherfucking lights on, it's hard to see their car from behind. Oh, this motherfucker hitting the curb. God, yeah, he's got to be high. <laughs> he ain't scared of the traffic. I mean, you're driving a big ass. He might hit somebody's shit. Driving a big ass vehicle, just like you see on uh, Los Angeles or Los Angeles area. I think it happened last night, a few days ago. Some I hate to say he was black too. Driving a big ass uh, tow truck. Drunk. <laughs> I guess he forgot he was driving, smashed into a whole bunch of trucks, cars, and houses and shit. I said, damn, he had to be black. And the whole hood was fucking Mexican. I said, damn. That's why I hate to see. Yo, this motherfucker's going exactly my way. Damn, I hate, hate when they go on my way. You can't even stop at a stop sign. At the stop sign. God damn. I mean, damn. So anyway. You know, I was just checking out that movie. The Chaser, you know, I downloaded a lot of rock. You got this motherfucker on the wrong side of the road. Amazon package delivery. I don't think they teach them to uh, do that. This motherfucker want to pull. I hate when motherfuckers pull out just because they see the line is long when they don't have time. See, if I'm not aware of this shit, you know, these people are so fucking stupid. Unbelievable. They got to understand, man. Some people could be looking to get hit. I'm sure we all been behind people looking for a new bumper. You know? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I might finish watching that when I get home to chase. See if they ever end up in a chase. Oh, boy. They do all that to get in your way, and then they doing something else. I mean, damn. Fucking idiots. So, yeah, The Chase, that's one movie. What's the other one? See, that shit made me forget what the fuck I was talking about. Some people probably like, good, get back to it. So, I get back to it. Anyway, in the, in, uh, so, if you need a desert, you need fucking rocks. Because the rocks have to erode. And, um... That forms the desert. You can really see that like in the desert of Algeria. You can clearly, I think it's the Tbilisi, uh, uh, Tbilisi Mountains. That's when you can clearly see. Yeah, you can see that in the Grand Canyon too. You clearly see the erosion of the rocks. And how the shit used to be underwater. Which is probably what the shit used to be. At one time. Um... So you just can't go from jungle to desert like that. 
And I watched a show years ago, I think it was on YouTube, about no rainfall in the Sahara and Kalahari. And it was related to some weather patterns or some shit like that. And they said something about people were draining, uh, were using uh, vegetation, and thus it was stopping rainfall or something like that. It's just going to increase or some shit, something like that. So deserts, this month, I mean, if I told you what the fuck just happened, you wouldn't believe it. Wasn't an accident. Motherfucker had the red, the green light trying to take a left. Nobody was coming from the opposite direction. Motherfucker not even going. Luckily, that pickup truck is out of my motherfucking way. <laughs> you know that motherfucker was high. High on coke. Or Mexicans, they like drinking Coronas and other beers and shit. White man keeps importing them. Anyway, you need rock to get the dunes, the sand dunes. That's why you got sand dunes in California. You know, they'll, they'll film a lot of movies in California in the sand dunes. Because a lot of people don't realize that shit. And, uh, you know, when they want to do the Sahara. And not all deserts have sand dunes. You know, there's no telling what the fuck is under the sand dunes in the Sahara. It could have been a lost civilization. That's another thing people were talking about, these ghetto hood scholars. Uh, trying to use, think they're going to trick me into uh, using my imagination on, on some old imaginary West African civilizations and artifacts telling me uh, that the mud the mud and uh, uh, tree construction <laughs> mud and wood construction keep in mind we're not talking man made chopped and formed wood construction we're talking raw wood construction like you see in Mali Timbuktu because when I started doing research on a whole lot of shit you know, shit you heard of but never really looked into. Because I used to see some old TV shows and they used to say something like, from here to Timbuktu. I never knew what the fuck Timbuktu was. And the damn sure I didn't know it was in Africa <laughs> because I, I didn't think that they would be, you know, quoting anything from Africa like that. Because usually when the white man talks about Africa, he makes sure that, you know, it's some shit that's low down. So I said Timbuktu, and then when I found out that was a real place, and it was in Africa, I was like, shit, just like Carthage and Hannibal and shit. I was like, oh, that's in Africa? I said, damn, I didn't know that shit. You know, my high school dropout days, that's when I, uh, you know, my mother had that set of encyclopedias. I don't know how the encyclopedia business is doing these days with Wikipedia, even though that shit ain't accurate, but even real encyclopedias fucking uh, lie too and get deceptive but um you know I started looking shit up then I said oh the white man does lie like crazy but once I finally looked at Timbuktu I didn't know it was still standing and I said oh then I said oh that's it I said, damn, that shit didn't look like no state of the art. That's the place, the, the top school, probably the first university, top school on the earth at the time. I said, that's it? You know, I expected to see stone construction. And then to find out that the shit, I thought it was a stone at first. I said, well, maybe it's just a, a art deco style of some kind, you know. Where they uh, have it cool. See, this man doing the wrong thing. Almost collided with a car turning. Impatient. So I was thinking it was some type of uh, 
stylized artwork, you know, where it was made out of some type of concrete type of material <laughs> to help cool, stay cool in the desert, you know. Then I found out the shit was mud, not mud brick, but mud. And then they want to argue me down, <laughs> talking about you don't need stone construction like Egypt in North Africa in order to be sophisticated in the civilization. I said, motherfucker, if you don't have at least that, we know where the fuck you stand. So don't come with that bullshit to me because we know about the Stone Age. They said, well, Nigeria had uh, metal uh, work and, and, and boats 10,000 years ago. I said, yeah, they got the evidence of that, yeah. But where is the evidence of having them having done something like I said many times there you know I'm sure they you know they probably had sophisticated wood dwellings that probably burned down or got washed away or destroyed by the white man or somebody else that's possible and it could be possible that they made a record of it although none of us can seem to find it and if you're African, it's up to you to put the shit together. Don't wait for the white man to put the shit together. You put it together. You know, people in Mali, Timbuktu, they can't even maintain their records and shit. Shit, if you can't get a motherfucking scanner, use your cell phone. Do whatever the fuck you got to do to keep the record. I mean, goddamn, if you can't do that, what can you do? So what I was explaining to these uh, jackasses on, uh, I think it was K-Zorian, I think, I forgot what the fuck I was on, <laughs> is that the shit was Molly, Timbuktu, was mud brick, not mud brick, it was made out of mud and had, you have to keep, they have to keep putting the mud up there because the shit will crumble down. And I said, damn, man, I mean, it is a motherfucking university that Europeans, of course, they were in a different state at the time, of course, that they even broke their necks to get to. The Moors went to that university. I'm like, and this is what it was, made out of mud? How many of you today would want to go into a uh, three, four story building? made out of mud and if you can watch on YouTube they'll show you the insides of some of these places and this shit is looking crazy this motherfucker I mean everybody's left your ass and you're still going slow scared because they can't see the lines they, they get nervous that's why you just gotta it's dark just don't be stupid that's all <laughs> If you got a modern car, you should be able to see something. I know they need to put down better uh, lines on the roads, but you know, especially when it rains, that's when you really need them. But um, it is what it is. I don't realize going too damn slow causes more problems than going too damn fast. Unless you end up going the wrong way, of course. But yeah, ten buck two wasn't looking good so I all I asked for see this motherfucker try to move all I asked for god damn fucking idiots out here I'm, uh, for real <laughs> all I asked for is evidence of West African castle. Now the Moors came, they, they created castles. But see, the reason why I had to go there is because these guys say that North Africans were not black, indigenous black people or Africans. They had stone castles, they created the castle. Yeah, Europeans eventually made some cool ones too. But of course, you got to ask yourself, outside of North uh, Africa, 
Now, castles are also forts, so that's why they had to guard the coast. But where are the ones in Nigeria? <clears throat> Egypt, as you know, kept getting invaded by different people, so that's why people kept building different forts. But once you, you learn from somebody the technique of doing something, usually the new invader knows how to build something on their own. And then they might pick up some uh, tips from whatever country they invaded, if they had anything. But even people who invaded certain parts of Africa, they didn't leave anything. Then they try to throw up the Zim great Zimbabwe because, you know, all they do is repeat what the white man tells them. And then they act like they're saying something. And I said, the great Zimbabwe... I said, that shit ain't really sophisticated like that. It's made out of stone. It's got uh, walls and shit. It stayed up. But I said, the line, the, 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 the walls are not plumb straight. You know, that's a technique that's been mastered for what? Three, four thousand, five thousand years already. You can see that shit. In any high-rise building that you might be looking at, you think, "Oh man, the white man is is is, is intelligent to build up tall-ass skyscrapers and keep the shit straight." Well, I was reading into that. I forgot the. I think it's called a plum, or I forgot the name of the uh, tool. But apparently, it's some shit. That's why ancient people you can't call them stupid. You know, they, they apparently had the technique thousands and thousands of years ago to keep shit straight as they build. Now, they do say sometimes mistakes get made and you got to adjust the mistakes as you go along. But for the most part, you you know, you look at pyramids, look at whatever, Karnak, the Acropolis, the, you know, the shit will be straight or whatever shape that they're looking for. As you look up, the shit and it stays straight I don't see that in the great Zimbabwe so to me I'm thinking to myself what is what you look at Rwanda you know, I, I, I hate to say it but the white man may have a point about I think it's the Tutsi that's supposed to be Semitic or something else, but you look at their names too, they don't have any Semitic names, even though they do look similar to Ethiopians. But, um, white man could have a point, who knows? But who knows what was destroyed? Who knows? Again, it's up to Africans to up today. Shit, go and, and you don't have to talk about it, go out there and see what you got, show us what you got. But the places that's been invaded the most obviously have the most uh, architecture and shit because the water is what has to be defended the most or else people keep on <laughs> coming on trying to do what they can do move for some french fries now I mean damn Oh yeah, speaking of that, man, I just came from that uh, BJ's too. Greenberg, New York. That's where I saw Poppy at. See, he's back uh, with more drama. <laughs> I said, this man keeps drama. So... I said, damn, this man keeps drama. But when I met him, he was about as soft and timid and soft smoking as could be. <laughs> Nothing like he is on those videos. Nothing like, come on down and, 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 and see what you could do and all that kind of shit. None of that kind of shit. <laughs> And he's short as fuck too. 
But I just think that's funny. Come on, man. Get the fuck on, man. You see you got the uh, fucking room? I mean, damn. Some people are stupid. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that particular BJ's, man, they always fucking around with expiration dates. Wrong prices on the shelves and shit. I mean, damn. I think they do that shit to get slick. So you can pay more. Oh, yeah, speaking of that. Speaking of BJ's. You know, I like to point out good deals. I told you about the TV. If you didn't want to trust me, the high sense is the U8K. You get whatever size you want. Even though the 75-inch one is different from the... Uh, this motherfucking park. Right in the middle of the fucking street. God damn. <laughs> the 75-inch one is different from all the other sizes, though. From what I've heard, it, it uses a different panel. And... Uh, is it 75-inch or the 85 one? Uses a different panel, so for side uh, viewing, so it's supposed to be better at that. But they say it actually doesn't look as good in the quality of the actual TV for some odd reason. I guess the size of whatever it is. But anyway, I bought a coffee machine about what was it three, four years ago. Around this time. Shit was online. It was 10 bucks on Mr. Coffee. I said, you know, I'm not a coffee connoisseur. More people acting fucking stupid. I swear, man. These people driving cars where you think that they should be able to see the fucking road. But anyway, it's a Mr. Coffee. It's 10 bucks. I think it was normally 24. And I said, well, you know what? Let me do this. Because I said, I'm getting tired of going out and getting coffee when I might just be in the mood for some coffee at home. And I have used it a, a fair amount. I told you about different coffee varieties that I'm not exactly cool with. Uh, so anyway, I said, let me see if they got something that I can get that might come with a little more, you know, I don't need no fully automated type shit, but, you know, a little more sophisticated uh, shit to give me some better quality because I'm starting to feel that. I'm lacking the, uh, these fucking idiots. If, I hate when people switch uh, lanes and go slow as fuck, man. Get your ass the fuck on. God damn. Once your mother, the fucking front of your car <laughs> has, has moved into the fucking lane, keep it moving. You already, you're already there now. So what the fuck you going to think about turning the fuck back? You're already there. Keep it moving. Hate when people do that shit. Act scared, but I want to be bold enough to make the move. <laughs> I mean, damn. Fuck. So, anyway, this coffee machine, it's at BJ's. And so, what is, what's the name of this shit? Oh, boy. Black, Black and Decker. What the fuck is this? Getting funnier than they want to make a left turn all of a sudden. I mean, damn. It's unbelievable. So it's a Black & Decker. I don't know the model number. All I know. This motherfucker come out. Don't even see cars coming. These people are fucking dimwits to the fullest. And see, now he's driving a nice car. Now if he would have hit me. I tell you, I learned my lesson from <laughs> before. You hit me. Any you uh, and, and anybody out there, you you get hurt, you get in an accident, you better be hurt. Like I told you, the scheme. I call it a scheme. Shit. <laughs> Before when I uh, found a lawyer, 
a shakedown attorney. They call them slip and fall attorneys. Uh, you know, he, they had me do the routine going through the, to the chiropractor. I said, man, motherfuck that. I'm doing it this time. I only got 5000 out of it. Who knows? They probably got more. And probably just told me they got 5000 They can do that. I've been watching some videos on YouTube. They do that kind of shit. That's the problem with, with that, that lawyer shit, man. You can't... The defendant that has to pay out, they, you know, they won't talk to you about what you got. You got to talk to your lawyer. And the lawyer could lie. Probably got 10 G's and said, oh, you, well, you, we only got five. Then hand me about three. <laughs> That's how they do that shit. That's why I say, man, I ain't going through that shit again. But if your car gets uh, fucked up in a, in, in a different way, especially if you got a newer one, and you're like, man, they ain't going to give me enough to replace the, the, the shit. Then you got to go and be hurt. It's always the back. That's why you see it in TV shows. It's always the back. There's people walking in this garage. That's why you go get a fat ass, but walking in garages and shit, and they just I'm I'm in front, but then they want to walk and it's like they can't stop or don't want to stop. They want to walk and take the chance on getting hit. Yeah. So anyway, coffee machine is a Black and Decker. I don't know the model number, but the shit is fifteen motherfucking dollars at BJ's. I'm glad that somebody always has the bargain of the year because that's the bargain of the year. And it's a um, a digital one. When I got the other one, that Mr. Coffee one, that was a cheap ass. Uh, it's a cheap ass, um, you know, plastic shit with no kind of buttons on it. It's the on and off button. So don't fuck with that kind. Well, you can if you want to. That still got the job done for a few years. But um, this one, it's only fifth, only five dollars more than what I paid the, the the last time at BJ's Club. And I checked Sam's Club, checked Walmart, checked the uh, I didn't check Target, but I don't expect for them to have anything. Check Amazon. The same model is on Amazon right now. I think it was 35 or 39 bucks with the 10% off coupon. So just think about that. 15 bucks. The box is far smaller than the one that I had with the Mr. Coffee in. But once I took it, took it out, it holds more water. The uh, pot is uh, bigger. The whole shit looks more sophisticated. I got the brushed aluminum one. You put that shit on the, on the kitchen uh, counter. That shit look like a you know. Shit looks like what it is like a almost fifty dollar uh, coffee machine. But damn, I, I keep thinking, damn, if they could sell it for fifteen, damn, I don't even want to think about how much the shit really cost them. <laughs> I'm like, damn. So shit, you can get a few of those if you want to. But I got the shit. I said this is different. I guess my first step into a bigger coffee uh, uh, <laughs> machine world, I guess. See the nice lights on it. It gives you a time that the plate is still hot or warm, which is two hours. And it counts down and turns it off after that. Uh, you can brew it for stronger or weaker, which is cool. And the way that the water... You know, covers the, the coffee beans is stronger than that cheap one. 
supposed to get it, extract all the flavor out of it. So that's what I, I was thinking I was missing because even though I make my coffee and it could be good at times, I'm like, if I happen to go out and get a coffee, I'm like, damn, it's like, I think I'm missing something. And the thing I can't figure out still is how many tablespoons of water, I mean, of coffee do you put in per cup? I see different things all over the internet. Even the coffee machine doesn't tell you how many in the coffee itself. They don't tell you how many. They just say, put it to taste. I'm like, this shit doesn't really tell me shit. So I got to keep experimenting. Last one, I would put the water level at around 10. And the... Put five tablespoons of coffee in it. Which I thought didn't give it that bitter taste and a decent taste. Last night, I looked on the internet. They said put seven tablespoons of coffee for every, was it six ounces or six cups of water? Yeah, six for every six cups of water. So I said, let me put in 15 I thought the shit came out too strong, too bitter. White people love their coffee very strong. I can't drink strong coffee that doesn't really have a taste, but tasting nothing like burn. I can't drink that shit. The shit got to have some kind of flavor to it. Also, a thing I do too, I, I put, I, I bought some uh, roasted coconut, chopped coconut, toasted coconut. Chop that up a little more and throw that shit, a little bit of that shit in the coffee machine to get that coconut flavored coffee. Instead of that, buying that fucking artificial crazy ass uh, flavoring. That's another thing. Sometimes I want flavored coffee and I realize, damn, all this shit is artificial and chemicals and shit. So I just, uh, I just can't fuck with it. So you get you some vanilla extract, get you some actual hot cocoa and some actual uh, uh, coconut. Brew that shit and throw it in with the coffee uh, grinds and shit, depending on what kind of machine you got. And then, uh, you know, now you, that you got to do the taste. And then it will come out right. Because when I used to go to Dunkin' Donuts, you know, I used to like that coconut coffee. But the real shit, because I want, I like real shit. I don't like that artificial shit. So, you know, get you a bag of coke, that Baker's coconut from the store. I bought some organic shit. Really bought it for another reason, but, you know. I said, damn, I got this coconut. I ain't really doing nothing else with it. Might as well uh, see what I could do. So, the coffee, you know, it, the, the sprayer, or whatever it is, that that is more in line with a real coffee machine, I guess you could say. Because <laughs> the other one was just plain old cheap. Plastic, flimsy. And then after a while, the, the plate, I guess the drips from the coffee after a while started getting some type of chemical reaction, building up and crusting over. This one seems smooth. They say it's nonstick. In other words, you know, it's just like when you get a new microwave, you want to cook shit in it. <laughs> get a new freezer, you want to start freezing shit. So I'm starting to make coffee. So I'm out of my Folgers. I had to sacrifice that. I don't want to waste. I wasted Cafe Bustello. Since that price went up, I don't want to be wasting that shit. And from Sam's Club, I got some shit called U-Band, which ain't, which ain't bad. But 15 bucks at BJ's, man, that, that that's something to uh, I, I would definitely uh, fuck with. Definitely fuck with that. Uh, and I noticed that TV uh, I bought, they were giving away that NBA 2K4, 24. They were stalling for like two weeks on that shit. Then they finally gave me the code. I don't have a PlayStation 5. I'm not getting one because I see you can't get the digital for 400. So fuck it. Uh, I noticed that they waited until the price went down. Maybe they got to buy the shit on their own or something. But <laughs> I said, ain't that funny? When the price went down, that's when they want to give it to me. Stalling me, bullshitting me like that. 
And I gave them great reviews online about that TV. And I stand by the, the, the what I said about the TV. The shit is damn near perfect. Damn near perfect. I saw another article when I said that TCL and Hisense might become the new LG and Samsung. I see it found an article that somebody wrote about that saying the same thing. And saying exactly what I was saying that Samsung and LG used to be cheap ass brands. Then they stepped their game up, took out uh, JVC, Toshiba, and the other Japanese players, except for Sony. Sony still got that name recognition. And now these guys are on the come up. They got the lower price, but I, from what I read, the high sense is better, has better quality control than the TCL and better upscaling capability, so... That's another reason why I said fuck the TCL one. I'll take a, a chance with the high sense. But anyway, fuck with that coffee machine. You want your 4K movies? Fuck with those. You know, Best Buy got the deals. I, I think they got on. Uh, they usually have uh, uh, Amazon beat. Told you they got that Expendables. Uh, all three movies. For nine bucks, but that quickly sold the fuck out. I'm glad I got it when I got it. Because I never really watched The Expendables. Never had the desire to watch it. Well, I did want to watch the first two. I think I saw either saw the first one or started watching the first one. I don't know if I finished it, but for four, uh, three 4K movies for 10 bucks, I said, fuck it, I'll take it. And um, then, what else did they have? I bought the Howard the Duck. That was six bucks. I see that's now sold out too. I'm like, fuck it, you might as well get it. Even if you don't don't like it, get it. Looks damn good. Not, I'm not saying it's a good movie. I'm just saying it looks good on 4K. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so get a lot of those $6 uh, 4K Blu-rays, man. Build the collection up. Black Friday time is the time to do it. The only thing that I really wanted that they didn't have on sale because I was missing... Because, you know, I always say that the Captain America movies were the best Marvel movies. Because, you know, those tie right into the Avengers and shit. And the last two were basically like the Avengers. I see they got a new Captain America movie coming out pretty soon. So I realized, damn, I love the Winter Soldier. I realized, damn, it, I don't have that in my collection. So I had to hunt that shit down to try to find me one for a decent price. On those, I don't mind getting 4K or regular Blu-ray because those were upscale movies anyway. So, you look at the reviews, they usually say that the Blu-ray looked better than the uh, 4K, even though the 4K might have a little bit better color, sharper highlights, and all that special effects that is. But, the shit was filmed in 2K, so it's upscale, so you're not really gaining too much out of a 4K. Same thing with Star Wars. So, get your collection now. Once that Black Friday shit is uh, done, it's done. And I'm trying. I keep trying to find whatever. What else? What I wanted was the Trading Places that came out on 4K. But I said now I see why JFK. Uh, what's the other one? The Titanic and the Warriors are coming out after the Black Friday because they don't want to give you a, a Black Friday price. But from the, from the prices for those, I'm like, man, I, I'm going to pass on those right now. JFK, I don't really need that in 4K. But if it looks good enough, I'll take it. Like the Malcolm X in 4K, I still didn't buy that shit because um, shit costs too damn much. You know, I'm satisfied with the Blu-ray, but I didn't watch it again because I'm like... In case I can get my hands on the 4K for the right price. I don't want to watch it on Blu-ray again just, just yet. And uh, same thing with Shaft. You know, but thanks to eBay, I did get my hands on the Blu-ray Shaft. That's uh, the new one that's based on the 4K. Look at it. They see me in here. They want to stop and, st and stare instead of just going on your fucking way. People are fucking idiots. Karen's. <laughs> so. 
You think I'm in the car trying to steal a car not moving or something? So. Yeah, so in that, that regard, I can't get the shit. Titanic already looked great on Blu-ray, so I'm trying to figure out how much better it can look in 4K. We'll find out. Because I had started watching that shit again once I found out about the conspiracy, the real conspiracy on why that shit happened. Which makes sense. Uh, so that's why I started watching that shit again. And realizing that there were two. And I said, oh, so that's that's how he really was able to reproduce the uh, the Titanic in detail because they had two of them. And I guess that's what they do on those cruise ships always make two. Which seems very expensive and tedious, but shit, they were doing that shit over 100 years ago, so. So anyway, uh, the Hood Scholars, you know how it is. They're not saving anybody. I'm getting tired of debating them. They keep lying. And I know they're doing it for the youth, but just let it be known that these people aren't doing shit. They're not scholars. What they say does not go. They create no policy. They don't do anything for history. They do nothing. So stop listening to them like whatever their opinions are is the final word on the topic. Their opinions are not the final word on any topic. It's not the word on any topic. All they're doing is copying and repeating what their white master told them to repeat. With that, I'm out.